In this part, we are going to learn how to use the headless UI transitions. So first, we are going to create the next JS app. So we go to uh, here and type yarn create next app. So we go to the terminal and paste the command. And then we add the project name, yt learned headless and then we type transition and then we go to here and then we go to install the Tailwind CSS and then after we create a project we enter the project by typing yt cdyt learn headless transition and then we paste the command then we enter the VS code by typing code dot and now we are going to copy this tailwind.config file and go back to here and then we replace this and then we also copy this and we replace the globals.css and then we can now back to the tailwind CSS the headless UI and then we are going to install the headless UI we add so we back to the terminal we install the headless UI and then we start creating the components and we follow these documentations and create the components folders and then under this we create my component.js And then we copy all of this. And then we also have to import import the transition and also the use date from React. And then we also have to import import the transition and also the use date from React. Now we can see it has a button and this is uh, setting the show and uh, is not show state. So we can toggle this show and hide by uh, pressing this button. And this transition is uh, controlling the transitions, enter properties and enter from um, zero opacity to 100 opacity and then it takes uh, 75 durations 75 units of time durations and this take 150 units of time for leaving and then we have to back to the index so we're back to the index page and we have to import this components so we remove all of this and then we import my component and then we remove all of the import and then we click save now we can type young dev And then we back to here and type localhost 3000. Now we can try to press on this and you can see this is going to fade in and fade out. And so this is how to add the transition and this is the basic example. Now we want to show you how to use the props as so for example, if you look at this, you can see that actually we can turn the transition as a tag. In this part, we want to show that actually it just not only can transition to make transition on one component. Actually, we can make transition on two 
or multiple components. So you can see this title is coordinating multiple transitions. So we can copy this first and then we replace uh, what inside the transitions. So now actually we do not need uh, we do not need these props inside the transition. We just leave the show is showing. And then we remove this. And then uh, we can go to add the div. So for example, we can add a background. So we create a div. And then the class name is equal to H screen with its full BG back and then opacity 50 and then we can go to here and we can we can add another component so for example we can add another div with bg white And then we can add some text. For example, uh, we can type uh, hide. So, and then we have to add uh, the padding is five, and then round corner with MDs. Now let's take a look on the web page. Now you can see if we toggle, you can see it is. Uh, the black colors, the black colors, the semi black colors appear, and if we click again, it will disappear. And now we also want to add some cards to the button, so it will not on the top. So we have to add the cards name, which is equal to absolute. And then we type top two. So let's have a look. Now you can see it will cover the toggle button. So the next thing is we want to center. We cannot see this this hiding button. So we have to add another div to wrap the uh, this transition chart. So we have to add div and then we have the to wrap this transition trial and then we add the cars name is equal to uh, flex item center justify center and then padding is 4 and then test center and then save it and then we also add another div fix inset 0 overflow y auto now we can see it has the high button and uh, this do not place at the center because we have to add this minimum height to be full. So now you can see the button. And now we have to add the functions. So we add on click and then set is showing to false. Now when we click this, you can see it hide all the other things. And now we click on the toggles, it will appear. And now we can also add the cursor pointer. 
so it looks like a button so this is how to use the transition